Hello everybody, so hopefully I will have intro this by now and you will know that what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how I am meal prepping during this whole coronavirus pandemic and basically I'm going to hop straight in. This book is actually um, what I keep my recipes in, <laughs> so I kind of just like make random notes and I've got like a savory section. Um, in a sweet section. This is like my drafts basically and it's where, where I go to for my recipes before I put them on the website for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip to the back here and I will take an empty page. Now I'm left-handed so I'm going to be having to tilt this while I write. So I recently did my shop and if you have seen my fridge and pantry tour you'll have an idea of what's in that shop. What I've been doing prior to kind of planning my meals is actually just jotting down at the very top what I have um, in, in my kind of fridge pantry. And obviously like before I went, I also like had some idea of what I wanted to, uh, to make and picked up things accordingly. Um, but now I'm just gonna kind of put it all together. So I know that I personally have three onions, I've got three potatoes, I've got three big tomatoes, and I have some cherry tomatoes, I've got a couple of carrots, I have a couple of avocados. I've got a box of mushrooms. Lemons. Limes. Garlic. Um, peppers, and I've got a tiny bit of ginger. As well as lettuce, parsley, coriander, dill, and mint. So that's kind of my produce. And then I know that in the freezer, I've got chicken breast, ground beef or ground lamb, I've got some of my frozen meatballs that I've already made, but because that was meal prep and not stuff that I just got, I'm not going to add it here, even though it will feature in the meals when I get there. Um, how many meats do I have? Oh, I have got sausages. Okay, so basically that's what I do. I'm going to straighten this out for you so you guys can see maybe a little bit better. And... That might be a little bit boring for you guys to just like watch me go through, but I find that this is a really important step in knowing what I have and knowing how to move forward. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally list like meal one, meal two, uh, three, and so on. I'm going to list what idea I have to make out of these ingredients and then how many portions it's going to make. Uh, so how many I can get out of it. This is going to annoy the hell out of me if I'm editing later and I see that this is not kind of perfectly straight but you know we can only do what we can do. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. Okay so here we go. I'm gonna start with meal number one is going to be my black bean falafel. Now this recipe is on my website so I will link it down below and this makes about 18 pieces uh, like 18 falafels so for me 
if I was having that as a meal, that would probably be um, four to five portions, I would say. And in this case, I will also freeze what I don't eat straight away. Oh, and I just remembered I have salmon in the fridge. So whatever I don't eat with things like this, I will freeze. So I will make probably just like one portion at the time that I make these and then the rest will be in the freezer for when I want them. Uh, my second meal slash snack idea um, is potato and cauliflower. cheese balls now how many this makes will really just depend on how much potato and cauliflower I boil I am working on getting this recipe up on the website so hopefully um, it will be up soon um, follow me on Instagram to know when that happens or just keep checking my website um, but I'm going to say that I will try and make I'll try and make about 16. I think that would be um, that'd be a good goal. And if so, that would be another kind of four to five portions. I think this would be like good accompaniment to this or if I was having it with some other meals. Another meal idea then roasted salmon. This is actually one of the first things that I had to do because the salmon was fresh and I didn't want it to go off. So I've actually had one salmon-based meal. I will insert a picture right, oh, where is my finger? Right here <laughs> for you. And uh, I've got the second salmon that I have already cooked that's in the fridge. Um, and that made two portions with whatever kind of side I add to that. I think I'll have the second salmon with some salad. Mac and cheese. Um, I made this last week or the week before and I made four portions and it was perfect for me to freeze so I kept kind of I ate one portion on the day of course and then I had uh, a portion in the fridge and then a portion in the freezer and that worked pretty well for me. Um, sorry, two portions in the freezer. So, uh, yeah, so if I make that again, that'll be another four portions and it's just delicious. I really like my own mac and cheese. Um, last time I didn't add any kind of veg and stuff to it and this time I might. So we'll see how that goes. Meal five. I was thinking that I wanted to make lasagna. I haven't made lasagna in a really, really, really long time. And I've got the lamb, ground lamb in the, in the freezer. So I feel like I could make like a bolognese out of that and then make a lasagna. And I'm guessing that I'll make one that's about four portions. Um, if it ends up being like six portions because it's too big, then that just means I have more food. And again, with lasagna, I will freeze whatever I don't eat on the day. Um, I tend to prefer doing that when I'm in a situation like we are now, um, instead of kind of cooking every single day and cooking really small portions, because I find that kind of difficult with certain meals, because the ingredients just are difficult to balance out if you're cooking a very tiny portion. And I also find that sometimes, like a lot of the time right now, I'm really loving cooking, but then sometimes I won't. And so if I have stuff that's in the freezer, uh, it's just a godsend for the days where I'm not feeling very well, I've got a headache, I get migraines. Um, as I have mentioned before, I will link up here, I think it'll be, yeah, there, my migraine video. Next meal idea, and something that I haven't had in a very, 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 very long time, and it's why, it's one of the reasons that I had bought the sa sausages, is toad in the hole. So this is a very British meal, I think. So if, uh, if, <laughs> if you're not from the UK and you don't know what this is, toad in the hole uh, is essentially, uh, what's it called? Sausages that's in like, a pastry filling and 
you bake it in the oven and it just gets like nice and crispy. Um, I, yeah, I think I'll make either two or four portions of this. I'm not a thousand percent sure yet. I think this is the kind of thing that I will try and make a smaller portion if possible because it's not something I particularly want to freeze because I don't know how well it will freeze. Um, even though I've like checked online and it says that it, it's possible. You can struggle off. Now, if you are Russian and see how I make this and say that it is not, um, it's not traditional, you are pretty much absolutely correct. Um, I don't know whether or not it is traditional, but it's how we have been making it in my family for a very long time. And I personally really, really love it. And how about some, cause I've got some frozen meatballs in the fridge, in the freezer rather. So I'm thinking spaghetti and meatballs. And the thing that is nice about this particular meal is because the meatballs are already frozen and fresh pasta and pasta doesn't take that long to boil, this part will always be made fresh. So I will only make as many portions as I decide I want. I currently have enough meatballs for four meals. Um, so I'm going to say three to four meals because I might use the meatballs for something else. But I would say that I could get three to four portions out of this. I'm thinking we could definitely make like a chicken stock or soup kind of situation because I'm just not sure about like what veg I would put in there um, and if I would want to use it for anything else because I've been keeping like odds and ends and off cuts of chicken for a little while so I can do this. So the chicken part will be pretty simple. We'll see what kind of veg I put in there. I'm not going to put any portion in here for this one. Definitely got enough salad greens to make a couple of salads with chicken breast and like other vegetables, of course. And I'm thinking I probably have enough for two to three portions, like as a meal. Um, another meal idea because I have got like a little bit of sweet potato. I think I have one sweet potato left from last week. And I've got the three potatoes. So if I don't use all three potatoes here, which I don't think I would. Um, oh yeah, I also forgot that I have cauliflower. There we go. Um, so I think I could make a lentil and potato soup. or even possibly my sweet potato and lentil dal. Um, or let's sweet potato. Um, sweet potato dal, dal is lentils. So whichever one I make, I would make enough for two to three portions. And again, I would freeze it. We have gotten to 11 meals already which I think is pretty impressive with one food shop. Um, and obviously, then you have things like, um, like literally, if, you're, if you really can't go out, right? So all of these for me, if we add this up now, um, I'm going to take the smaller of the two options just to see like the minimum that I have, right? So 4, 8, 10, 14, 18... Uh, what's this? The toad in the hole. 20, 23, 26, 28, 30. This in total for me is 30 portions. Now, 30 portions of different meals over a period of two weeks. That is very easily two meals a day. And a lot of these meals are not meals I would have at like night, I would have it mostly as my lunch meal. Um, so it would probably last more than two weeks. So that's quite a lot of food. But if you needed to, uh, bearing in mind that all of my planning, by the way, is for one person. Um, but then obviously, if you couldn't go to the supermarket and you still needed to make more food, then there are options from 
what I currently have. Obviously, everybody would have it, would, would, um, what's it called, have different uh, ingredients in their cupboards. But for me, very easy to have stuff like um, peanut butter on toast. Um, I keep my uh, sourdough in the freezer so uh, it will stay fresh. You could always have tuna pasta. I've got some tins in the cupboard. Um, if I don't use all of my potatoes, I could have potatoes, like a baked potato and beans. I have a couple of tins of beans. Um, you could have just kind of a plain pasta with some sauce. I've got like a can of sauce that I have, just in case, lentils and rice or beans and rice. So obviously you've got a lot of options and we are, if you are in a similar position, then we are incredibly, incredibly lucky to have these options. And then for me, I'm also going to plan out desserts. Um, now with desserts, like I tend to kind of go more with what I am feeling, but I did buy some ingredients knowing that there were certain things I wanted to make. So number one, and I have already made these, so I will put a picture on the screen now. Um, macadamia um, and date chocolate balls. I made 18 and I've already given a couple away and I've eaten a couple. So, you know, that'll last as long as it lasts. Two is my banana walnut and chocolate muffins and if you saw my previous video my previous couple of videos in one video you will have seen me make these and then in another video you will have seen how I put them in the freezer um, the fridge freezer tour is the one that you will see the other one in so I currently have 12 muffins uh, so we'll see um, I've already made the second batch, so that's been done. Uh, three is peanut butter cups. Again, I have actually already made these, and I made six pieces. And then as an idea, I was thinking possibly, maybe. I haven't made like a lemon cake or a lemon drizzle cake in a really long time. And I thought that that might be nice. And if I made them in like little cupcakes or um, little kind of, what's it called, um, loaf tins, I thought that uh, that would keep and freeze well, just like I do with my muffins. Although I'm not sure with the drizzle on top. Anyway, we'll see. So that's kind of what I have in mind. And I already have in my freezer, um, as I said, I've already made the banana and chocolate chip muffins, but I already have chocolate chip cookies that I have previously made and frozen and I don't remember how many portions I have of that. So guys this is it. Let's see if I can put all of it in one frame. No we can't so let's start at the top. As I said I personally would list out your fresh produce that you have and things that you could be making meals out of. Then list your proteins. If you are vegan or veggie this still applies. You would list your lentils here, you would list tofu, you would list eggs if you're veggie, um, all of that kind of stuff. So whatever you have here uh, is your protein and that's going to be making up the bulk of some of your meals. And then I go into the actual meal planning portion of it. And like I said, for instance, I knew that I wanted to make my black bean falafel before I went and did my shop. My black bean falafel are pretty much a cupboard ingredient staple. Um, if you look at the ingredients, it's like, you know, a can of black beans, it's some chickpea flour, which you can substitute with regular flour, it's stuff like that. So what I, um, all I needed to make sure that I had was carrots, because I personally don't keep carrots in the house unless I'm going to cook with them. So that is where that came from. And then uh, next up, uh, next up is the potato and cauliflower cheese 
balls. Again, that's just an idea that I had in mind. I thought it was something that would be kind of nice to snack on. My salmon, I had been really missing fish and just wanted to have some fish in my diet. And I, uh, now that I've actually had one portion, I know that I was definitely, definitely, um, missing fish. Mac and cheese, again, because I made it last week, I just know that it keeps really well. I know that it's really hearty and comfort food right now. And when I pair it with a salad, it is not too uh, claggy for me. Lasagna, just been wanting to make it. Toad in the hole, same. And I bought the ingredients especially for that. Chicken stroganoff, all I had to do was make sure that I had sour cream and mushrooms for my specific recipe. I think I'll try to take photos of this when I make it and put it up on the website. Meatballs, again, my meatballs recipe is already on the website, so I will link that. Chicken stock, I think I've got like a chicken stock in and soup recipe or something like that. I'll link whatever is closest down below. And then this is pretty simple. My sweet potato doll, I'm almost certain, is on the website or something similar. Again, I will link that below. And then these are just simple ideas. I would jot stuff like this down because I feel like we too often forget the kind of easy meals that we have in our cupboards. Like one thing, for instance, that I didn't put down here right now and that I could have and that would have been an idea is porridge. Just so just, you know, oats and porridge. So I would suggest that you write down even the things that you won't necessarily be making a meal out of. And then my desserts. Again, this is something that I am in a lucky position here in Bahrain that eggs, sugar, flour, all of that kind of stuff is not difficult to find. So for me, I can kind of make these pretty easily and not worry about it too much. And I've just made sure that I am stocked with butter and eggs and flour in order to be able to bake, even though like several of these don't even include need that, right? Like this doesn't need that, this doesn't need that. And then I just keep these in the fridge or freezer, like I said, and bake them for when I want them. And that, my dears, is pretty much it. Um, this is definitely 100% enough food for two weeks. It is possibly enough food for longer. Um, if I wanted to go out to buy any more ingredients, then I think the only reason I would do that is to buy a couple of like fresh fruit or fresh produce, stuff like that, like the things that are fresh and cannot keep. Um, but that's obviously not an essential. Um, so I'm really happy with this. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's going to be a long one, but I thought it would be a good way to kind of explain everything and how I personally do it. And I hope that it helps somebody. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you did like this video, if it was helpful for you, please, please, please give it a like and share it with anyone that you think might appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching and goodbye.